Pastures of Fiery Passion and Madness is a true story of a deadly love triangle that happened in a small Wisconsin town in the early 1900s. Hi, I'm Troy Locke. I wrote the screenplay Pastures of Fiery Passion and Madness. It's a story about Grace Lusk, a school teacher who was sent by the Mosley Commission in 1910 to Europe to study educational methods there. Uh, in 1912, Grace came to Waukesha, Wisconsin. The following year, she met Dr. David Roberts at a dinner party given in her honor. Now, Dr. Roberts is a local veterinarian who amassed a fortune by selling animal medications worldwide. He also wrote the book, The Practical Home Veterinarian, which sold over a million copies. He was so well known that the Rockefellers had him tend to their cattle in New Jersey when they became ill. Now, Roberts uh, um, subsequently asked uh, Grace to help him with a second book, Cattle, Breeds, and Origin. And uh, they began working on that book in 1914. Uh, but during that time, uh, they uh, began an affair in which uh, they uh, had secret rendezvous at Chicago hotels uh, during a two and a half year period. Now, an osteopath physician uh, named Dr. Brockway uh, bought Grace a pistol and they used to go uh, target shooting uh, near the railroad tracks just outside the city limits of Waukesha. Um, he prescribed this as a uh, means of therapy for Grace, who is uh, suffering from neuritis. Another one of the ways that Dr. Roberts lured in uh, Grace Lust uh, is by, was by giving her rides in, in his car, uh, which uh, back in 1914, very few people had automobiles back then. During the affair, which lasted from 1914 to 1917, uh, Dr. Roberts uh, would regularly tell Grace that he was going to leave his wife, divorce her, and make an honest woman out of Grace by marrying her, which of course he never did. Grace would later on repeatedly call him a coward, a charlatan, and a liar, uh, is the way that she thought of him after his... Uh, numerous broken promises. Uh, Grace was so insistent on uh, Dr. Roberts telling his wife about their affair that uh, the one time that they uh, met at a uh, Milwaukee hotel, uh, the, the Hotel Wisconsin, um, in uh, May of 1917, uh, Grace pulled out her pistol and uh, pointed at uh, Dr. Roberts' chest and made him swear on a Bible that he was going to tell Mary Roberts about their affair. He put his shaky hand on the Bible and swore that he was going to tell Mary Roberts that night. But then uh, Grace lowers the gun and, and uh, tells him, Darling, you don't have to now if you really don't want to. And which, of course, he never did. Dr. Roberts and his wife then went on a trip out east uh, and didn't return until June 20th. Uh, it was that day that uh, Grace confronted him on the phone and uh, uh, when he wouldn't tell his wife about the affair, she told him that she was going to his house to tell Mary Roberts about the affair. Well, Dr. Roberts uh, hurried back to his house and was there in time to uh, intercept Grace uh, and uh, but Mary Roberts also came to the door but uh, Grace tells her that uh, she was really there just to talk to Dr. Roberts for a bit well Dr. Roberts and Grace then go for a walk and it was here in this park Cutler Park where uh, they held their last embrace and their last kiss after Grace and Dr. Roberts go for a, uh, a walk in Cutler Park, um, Grace goes home, Dr. Roberts goes on his way, but apparently 
Roberts didn't get home before Grace did. And uh, Mary had called up uh, Grace asking her where Dr. Roberts is. Grace and Mary agreed to meet at Grace's uh, classroom at the YMCA the next day. Dr. Roberts uh, stops his wife before she's able to meet with Grace. Um, and uh, they have an argument right outside the YMCA. Grace is able to see that they, they have this argument, but uh, wasn't really able to tell what they said. During that day, Grace uh, uh, goes to uh, a seamstress shop where she gets the final fitting on a, a dress that she intends to wear for either her wedding to Dr. Roberts or her funeral after she kills herself. After her wedding gown fitting, she goes back to her place and uh, she uh, calls up Dr. Roberts uh, to again try to get him to tell his wife about the affair. While she's on the phone with Dr. Roberts, Mary Roberts walks in uh, interrupting the phone call and uh, they get into a heated argument uh, in, in which uh, uh, Mary Roberts uh, allegedly called uh, uh, Grace uh, uh, numerous vulgar names um, and uh, she claims that uh, Dr. Roberts uh, told her that uh, Grace was a fool and that she was infatuated with him, that he had no feelings for her at all. Uh, Grace tries to tell uh, Mary that that's not true, that she's in, that Dr. Roberts is in love with her and, and that uh, he feels trapped in a loveless marriage. Uh, to prove this, uh, Grace says that uh, she has love letters from Dr. Roberts up in her room. Uh, Mary, Mary tells Grace uh, to, to go up and get those love letters. Uh, Grace goes upstairs to get the love letters and in the same drawer where she kept the letters from Dr. Roberts uh, was her pistol, loaded and ready to fire. Mary Roberts is uh, reading the letters. She becomes enraged and uh, uh, begins calling Grace names, you know, like a trollop and a floozy. And uh, she finally ends by uh, calling Grace uh, the B word. Uh, rhymes with rich. Uh, it's, the word's in the script, but not in this video. Back in those days, you just didn't call a, another woman the B word. And uh, that's why Grace pulled her gun out from behind her back and shot Mary Roberts, uh, one shot, killed her, dead in the heart. Uh, she then uh, went back upstairs, put on her wedding gown, and took her pistol and uh, shot herself. After Grace shot herself, Dr. Davies came along, and uh, then the police chief, but uh, they stayed at the bottom of the stairwell while in, her, in Grace's home while Grace was at the top of the stairwell uh, holding her gun still. Uh, she, kept the two men at the, she kept the two men at bay at the bottom of the stairs for about 45 minutes to an hour going on and on about how Dr. Roberts said that he had loved her more than any other woman in the world and that he was going to marry her and leave his wife. Uh, she uh, repeatedly asked the two men where Mary Roberts was. Uh, they told her that uh, she, she had killed her um, and then Grace would go back into her tirade about Dr. Roberts uh, promising to leave his wife and marry her. Uh, that went on for about 45 to minutes to an hour until Grace came to the realization that hey if she lives she's uh, probably going to go to jail. She asked the police chief you know, chief, am I going to go to jail? And the chief says, yeah, you're, you're going to go to jail, Grace. Uh, well, that disturbs her enough that she uh, asks the two men to step out of sight. She then uh, goes back into her bedroom, shoots herself a second time, uh, this time not killing herself again, uh, putting a hole in her lung and blowing off uh, um, one of her fingers. Apparently she had held her hand over her heart to... Uh, 
figure out exactly where it was, but she still missed and blew off a finger to her hand. Uh, it took her uh, a year, 11 months. It took her 11 months to recover uh, and for local officials to organize a trial at the uh, Waukesha County Courthouse behind me. Well, today it's the Waukesha County Historical Museum. But uh, in 1918, uh, her Grace Lust trial was held on the third floor of the courthouse. At the time, numerous countries were involved in World War I. Now, when the news got out that a school teacher had shot the wife of the man whom she was having a love affair with, it caused a media frenzy and pandemonium around the courthouse during the trial. Uh, the, the story immediately after the shooting and during the trial was carried by virtually every newspaper across the country. Uh, Grace's attorneys tried to use her family history to uh, prove that she was insane. Uh, Grace's uh, great-grandmother, Louisa Bond, um, would uh, preach a lot and uh, sing a lot of hymns. Now they liked their, the Bible in Wisconsin in, in the 1860s, but apparently Louisa was a bit over the top. She was uh, admitted to uh, the Wisconsin State Hospital for the Insane, uh, where she died four years later after being admitted. There was also testimony during the trial that uh, Grace's mother uh, tried to commit suicide while on her honeymoon at Niagara Falls. Um, but uh, her father, Albert Lusk, uh, was able to stop his wife from jumping into the falls. But Albert Lusk himself uh, had some bizarre behaviors. Uh, he used to uh, hang his hat on a, on a hook and take it off and talk to it. He would say, you're there, I know you're there. Um, and he also would uh, keep his money uh, in a purse which was uh, pinned inside his pocket um, with three pins. Now, he, he would stop treating uh, his, his uh, dental patients, go into his outer office, pull out these pins, pull out his purse, uh, look at his money, say, you're there, I know you're there, put it back, put it back in his pocket and put the three pins perfectly back in place. Um, he, uh, when he used to leave work, uh, his office was in an upstairs and he, he would lock the, the first door, go down a stairwell and lock the second door, but then he'd uh, jingle the doorknob say I've and say to it, I've locked you, I know I've locked you, but then he would unlock it and go back upstairs, unlock the other door, lock it lock the upstairs door again, come back downstairs, lock that door. And he apparently would do this uh, two or three times every day uh, before he went home from work. Um, he also used to uh, brush away flies from his face during the winter time uh, when there was no flies. Even on a day like today, there's no flies. He would be trying to wipe the flies away from his face. Uh, there was also uh, the most poignant story about him was that uh, he was uh, going back to his office one day along with a dental student uh, and there was a black boy sitting on a stoop who saw a cat uh, pass in front of him and the kid meows at the cat. Um, but Dr. Lust thinks that he's making cat calls at him and uh, rushes back to his office and grabs a pistol out of uh, a desk there but uh... Dr. Lusk used the n-word and was gonna shoot the kid but fortunately the dental student was able to get the gun away from him. The actual testimony took place over 12 days in which she and Dr. Roberts uh, each gave their individual accounts of the sordid uh, details of their affair. Um, Grace's attorneys tried to prove that she was insane. Uh, in the end, however, the uh, all-male jury convicted her of second-degree homicide. Uh, 
uh, when the jury foreman read the verdict, Gray snapped, uh, jumped up from her seat at the defense table, uh, screamed at the prosecutor, D.B. Toller, uh, scratched his face and tried to choke him. It took several deputies to uh, pry Grace off of him and, and uh, get her back to the jail. Uh, three weeks after the trial concluded, uh, Judge Martin Lewick uh, sentenced Grace to 19 years in prison. Uh, the anniversary of the murder of Mary Roberts, Grace was to spend in solitary confinement. Well, she uh, went into the uh, Wapan State Penitentiary uh, just two days shy of the first anniversary of the murder. Dr. Roberts uh, was uh, later convicted of violating adultery laws and uh, he was sentenced to a year in the Milwaukee House of Corrections. Um, at the age of 83, he married his fourth, fourth, fourth wife uh, who in 1948, uh, she was uh, 33 years old and his mistress while he was still married to his third wife. Uh, now Grace um, was pardoned by Governor John Blaine uh, after spending four and a half years in prison. She also spent a year in the county jail, so five and a half years behind bars total. Uh, she was pardoned um, and uh, in 1925 she wrote a couple articles for the Atlantic Monthly uh, about the brutal conditions she endured while she was in prison. She also married a Mr. Brown uh, who nobody actually saw so there's a, a lot of question out there as to whether Mr. Brown actually ever existed. In 1930, uh, Grace Lusk died uh, from complications of goiter surgery and uh, she was uh, buried in an unmarked grave in Stoughton, Wisconsin where she was born. Uh, she died at the age of 52. Well, as you can see, Grace Lusk's story uh, and Dr. Roberts and Mary Roberts is, is a very bizarre one and uh, that's why I wrote uh, pastures of fiery passion and madness and uh, hopefully uh, Hollywood feels the same and uh, someday we'll be able to see the whole thing uh, acted out much better than what I did uh, on the big screen. Uh, thank you for watching. See more about the Grace Lust story on TroyLock.com and of course give it a like on Facebook.